Hey guys, Sully here with 7th Rise, uh, here on the set for the debut edition of the uh, Drum Corner in Rock Around Industries magazine. Hey guys, Sully here with 7th Rise. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, like I said in the intro, this is a debut edition of the Drum Corner in Rock and Roll Industries Magazine. We're here on the set doing some playing, getting some recording done. So, uh, you know, I thought a lot about where to start in this whole lesson thing. And really, you got to build a foundation, especially when you're dealing with rock music. It's such a big, powerful form of music. And having that foundation is so important. So. What I thought that we would do is uh, start with that foundation. Uh, some basic uh, beats and patterns, um, how to come up with them, and how to make them more consistent. I mean, the reality is you can have 10 drummers lined up, have them all play a basic beat, and it's all going to sound different. Why? Because as a drummer, you are unique. Uh, you have your, your influences, uh, your lifestyle, just all kinds of things playing in to how you will sound and play on the drums in that respect. So. So a basic pattern is, in any standard rock song you can say, or almost any kind of song, is just a 4-4 pattern. Uh, you have uh, 1 and 3, yeah, you know, count to 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 and 3, you have your kick drums, 2 and 4, you have your snare. On top of that, with a hi-hat, you're going to have your eighth notes, you know, going along with it, keeping it all together. Now, for the more advanced drummers out there, you're probably rolling your eyes right now going, God, we're doing this. The whole purpose of this, again, is for maybe take a step back. You know, whether you know if you're an advanced player or just starting out, especially if you're an advanced player, been playing for a long time. You know, maybe take a step back. That's what I do every week. I'll take a step back, readdress these foundations, come in, set up the metronome to make sure my timing is good, and play some of these basic patterns for an extended period of time. Come in and do it for a minute, two minutes, three minutes without stopping without hitting a crash cymbal, without doing a tom roll. I mean, just honing in on the basic pattern here. And this pattern I'm playing is known as the money groove. Why is that? Because you can really lay these type of patterns against most anything that's in the 4-4 time signature. Hell, even if it's 3-4, you can do it. You just have to move some stuff around. So, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm going to do some playing for you, kind of show you at some various tempos how I go about doing it uh, in a real life setting. Uh, when I am actually rehearsing and, and working on, you know, building a stronger foundation, a stronger sense of time, and being uh, more dependable in that respect, uh, which, you know, as a drummer is our job to do. So, check it out. Okay, guys, here we are. We're going uh, to demonstrate this basic pattern for you. Uh, we're going to play with the metronome. We're going to be coming through the little monitor system here. So, uh, again, it's just uh, one and three with the kick drum, two and four on the snare. Keeping the, the time grooving on the hats with the eighth notes. Um, and again, the idea behind this is to really hone in on the timing and play with conviction, uh, make it very clean, and uh, just make it groove, man. So uh, we're going to try some various different uh, tempos. Uh, we're going to start out with 120, so here we go. Again, that was 120 beats a minute. Um, if you notice, it's just real basic. I'm not going crazy with it, just keeping a single pattern with the kick and the snare. Um, in real life applications, when you're in your rehearsal room, the idea would be to do that type of pattern for, we're saying, extended period of time, three, four, five minutes at a time, without doing a crash, without doing a, a tom roll. Really con concentrate on these three instruments right here, because that's really where it's coming from, especially in the rock music. So now we're going to move it up to Let's see here, just do 130. 
and get the all right here we go All right, so we have 130 there. Speed it up a little bit. And this is, again, what you're gonna to wanna to do in rehearsal is, is take it up, take it down. Uh, for some guys, the faster it gets, the easier it is to play and, uh, and, and vice versa. So 140. Let's move it up one more time. Let's go up to 150. That's a pretty smoking tempo there. And as you do this at the at the faster tempos, especially, you probably start noticing a little bit of a warm feeling in your forearms and muscles getting and tightening up. That's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. You need to get your arms and ligaments and everything uh, used to this kind of thing. It gets you moving. So again, at 150. Hey guys, all right, uh, you just saw us play this basic uh, kick drum snare and hi-hat pattern uh, at a couple different tempos, 120, 30, 40, and 50 beats a minute. Um, I, we did a condensed version of it uh, for video purposes and to hopefully keep your attention on this. Uh, but the idea would be to get in your room, do this basic pattern at various tempos, whatever's comfortable for you starting out for an extended period of time. I'm talking three, four, five minutes at a time without hitting a crash, without doing a, a tom roll, anything. This will uh, produce some results for you that I think you'll, you'll very much like. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give you more confidence in the groove. It's going to give you more confidence when you're playing along with folks because it's not, you know, if you're off doing these crazy things uh, with the cymbals and toms and timbales and all that, all that's cool. But underneath all that, you need to have a solid foundation. So that's really the essence or the reason behind taking a step way back with this first lesson and starting out with the basics. And, you know, in doing so, as you noticed, I didn't really hit anything other than the kick, snare, and hat. So you don't have to have toms here, toms here, and all these symbols. Just a kick, snare, and hat to get going in that respect. So, uh, so again, the idea would be start with different tempos, uh, stay on it two, three, four, five minutes without doing anything else. Uh, you're going to start feeling possibly a little burn in your wrist and forearms and stuff. And that's just simply your muscles and tendons getting used. They're, they're, they're being exposed to something possibly they're not used to. You know, with drumming, we'll get going and play a verse this way, and then all of a sudden we change grooves or change something for the, for the bridge and then into a chorus. And we're not really ever doing this for a very long period of time or this, whatever the case may be. And this will give you... Uh, the ability to build that endurance. And it's such a big thing, especially in rock music, is having uh, that endurance. Uh, with rock music, it's not necessarily, a good friend of mine uh, said this once, it made so much sense to me, it's not necessarily what you play, it's how you play it. It's gonna be the conviction that you play it with. So accenting uh, the hi-hat on the, on the one and threes and really laying into that snare drum on the two and fours, mess around with it a little bit, lighten up with a little bit, go a little bit heavier, the idea is just to get your body moving and get you and get you thinking about the time. Now, everything I do, I do with a metronome, and there's a reason behind that because it's so important that we build our internal clock. And by using that metronome, it helps with that. So, throughout this, uh, the course of these lessons throughout uh, the year here, you're going to see the metronome being used, and obviously, and then it helps with this lot with this other footage that you saw where I'm playing to uh, backing tracks. You know, in order to really do that successfully, you need to be able to play with the metronome. So. So get you a metronome and, and uh, just start tearing away some of these basic elements. I promise you it will, uh, it will produce uh, results that you're going to be very happy with. All right? Okay, guys, here we are. We're going to expand on this just a little bit, this basic groove pattern that I was talking about. Uh, again, at the, some of the same tempos, uh, we're going to just add some snare rolls in there or maybe a five-stroke roll on the hi-hat to kind of spice it up a little bit, but still yet stay within the basic pattern and uh, keep rock solid time and make sure 
every little hit we have, you know, it's with conviction. It means something. You know, uh, you, you got to. When I say lay into it, I'm not necessarily mean you have to be the loudest drummer, but you've got to play with conviction and you have to show that you care about it. So here we go at 120. So that was at 120. I'm going to jump it up a little bit here to uh, 130. Jump up one more time. We'll go up to 140 and see what see what happens here. Hey guys, all right, so we did a little bit more playing here. You saw in the couple samples I just did, we did a couple different tempos. We added some uh, snare rolls and maybe a five stroke roll in there on the hi-hat just to spice it up a little bit. Um, and again, those are all just uh, things that go on top of the foundation. So, and again, with this first lesson, really just wanted to hone in on, on uh, picking just a basic pattern, uh, what I use and what works for me year after year as I, uh, rehearse and attempt to get better at playing drums and more fluid and uh, more versatile with it. Uh, it always comes back to readdressing the foundation. So whatever your foundations are, whatever they may be, jazz, country, rock, uh, reggae, whatever it may be, and whatever got you playing drums and those first few beats and all that good stuff, go back to those. Work with them. Experiment with them. Spend some time just breaking it all down just to build up some endurance and get you a metronome and work on your timing. All that's going to play into effect uh, in becoming a more effective drummer and someone that uh, your phone's going to ring and people are going to need you and want you and all that good stuff. So again, I really appreciate you being here with us on the set. Uh, we've got some really cool footage that uh, we're going to be putting in on this. So uh, definitely comment back to us on, uh, on the website and Facebook and all that good stuff and let us know what you think and uh, we'll go from there. So rock on guys. Thank <laughs> you.